Hey gamers, welcome back to Joystick News. Today, we're diving into Diablo 4 and its highly anticipated Vessel of Hatred DLC. There's a lot of buzz around the new Spiritborn class, but could it spell trouble for the game's balance? Let's break it down. Diablo 4 has been a major hit since its release with fans eagerly awaiting every new update and expansion. The upcoming Vessel of Hatred DLC promises to bring a fresh story centered around Mephisto along with the brand new Spiritborn class. But as exciting as this sounds, it might come with its own set of challenges. The Spiritborn class is making its debut in the Diablo universe set in the jungles of Nahantu. These warriors are tied to the land in a unique way, and their abilities are something players are dying to explore. But introducing a new class isn't always smooth sailing. Here's the dilemma, when a new class drops, everyone wants to try it out. This could lead to party imbalances, especially in co-op mode. Imagine joining a game where everyone is a spirit born, not exactly the diverse team you'd want for tackling tough dungeons. The timing also adds complexity. Vessel of Hatred releases at the end of Season 5 and the start of Season 6. Players will have just gotten used to their builds and suddenly there's a shiny new class to play with. This could disrupt team dynamics and strategies. Balancing a new class is no small feat. Blizzard will need to ensure that the Spiritborn isn't overpowered or underwhelming. This requires a lot of testing and tweaking and even then it might take a while before everything feels just right. What can Blizzard do to mitigate these issues? Engaging with the community will be crucial. Listening to player feedback and making adjustments based on real-world gameplay can help smooth out the rough edges. This approach worked well for other games and could be key here too. So will the Spiritborn class ruin Diablo 4 or will it be a game changer in the best way possible? Only time will tell. What's clear is that Blizzard has a lot of work ahead to ensure a seamless integration. What are your thoughts? Are you excited about the Spiritborn class or worried about the potential imbalance? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell for more gaming news and updates. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Stay legendary.